Hi, I'm James Rotherham, inventor of the Valerian Propulsion System. In this video, I'm going to try and show you a bit about the technical side of how Valerian's system works. So, we start with a flapping wing. This produces a stream of vortices, thrust-producing vortices, called a reverse Kármán vortex street. Now, although that already produces thrust, we want to try to make it more efficient. So what we do is we constrain the flapping wing inside a duct. And this causes the pressure differences created by the flapping wing to be increased, which makes it more efficient. And also, it means that we need less flapping frequency to produce the same amount of airflow. So, uh, in addition to this, we then add uh, a type of bulge in the duct and also a stator wing. So that is a, a stationary wing. And what these structures do is they extract some of the energy from the swirling vortices and that helps to create additional thrust, which makes the system more efficient. That's called the cat's mare effect. And you can sometimes see this in something like a fast moving stream, in which if you have a bluff body like a rock, you'll sometimes see that there are fish that look like they're sheltering behind the rock. And what they're actually doing is extracting energy from the vortices that are being produced by the rock. And by doing that, they're able to remain stationary, even in a fast moving stream, without actually expending any energy. And that's the same basic principle that's going on here. So in addition to this, one of the advantages of Valerian's system is that we have a very even distribution of pressure changes down the length of this wing. So if you imagine this is a typical Valerian wing flapping uh, back and forth like this. The pressure changes that that motion is creating are the same, more or less, down the entire length of the wing. And that's very different to how a normal propeller or fan works, in which you have a change in velocity towards the tip of the blade. And what that means is that you get actually very little thrust in the middle section. And at the end section, the pressure changes mean that the air spills over the edge and this creates an energy sapping vortex known as a tip vortex. So you don't actually get very much thrust here either. So all in all, Valerian is able to create a very long wing for a given thrust area. And we're able to keep these pressure changes the same down the length, which helps with the efficiency. We can also very simply add end plates to this uh, wing, and that further helps increase the efficiency. I think that covers most of the main points. The only other thing that I would add that is quite interesting is that this static geometry here causes some quite complex aerodynamics that you would normally only find in a more complex biological system. Animals like birds and dolphins and such like. But we're able to achieve this with a very simple mechanical system. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you.